Welcome to Enough is Enough with host Echo Bodine. Echo says, as far back as she can remember, the media and various religions portray the New Age community as evil, bad, satanic, charlatans, etc. And enough is enough. This show will present the New Age practices in the true light. People have been born with the gifts of prophecy and healing for thousands of years. So now please welcome your host, Echo Bodine. Hi, everybody. Oh, my gosh. I get all giggly. Just like as they're counting me down, I'm like, <laughs> ah! and then I just kind of settle down. So hi, everybody. Welcome to Enough is Enough. I am your host, Echo Bodine. And tonight, uh, usually I like to tell you what's coming up. And I can tell you a couple things. Okay, so the first 15 minutes and then tonight, I want to talk to you about healing. And then, just depending upon how long my guest wants to stay on, at 8.15 or wherever that's central time, wherever you are in the world. Um, Master numerologist Wes Hamilton is going to come on at 8.15. And we're going to talk about numerology tonight. And I'll tell you a little story when Wes gets here, uh, just how he and I connected. And it was just really cool. But first things first, I want to talk to you about something really cool. And that is healing. Now, you know, we all have different ideas of what healing is. What does healing mean? I remember, oh, many years ago, I was just in one of the hardest places of my life, just felt lost. And a bulletin, an email came in and said that they were having a healing service at the church. Now, you know, I should clarify this. This was probably 30 years ago, maybe even 40 years ago, now that I think about it. And I thought, oh, good, I'm going to go to the service and I'll get healed. And then I won't be depressed anymore. So off I went to the church and I just sat there waiting, you know, waiting for some kind of miracle to come along and take away this depression. And the minister just talked. He talked about healing but it didn't i don't know it was like wait a minute this isn't what i expected and i over the years as a laying on hands healer i've seen that there's a lot of confusion in people about well what is healing does it mean that we're going to get instantly healed like stories in the bible when jesus laid his hands on people and you know Boy, I'm still learning about healing, working with others, helping them to heal. And something I came across recently that just kind of blew my mind was it's a book called What Jesus Wants You to Know Today. And it's by an author named Gina Lake. Oh my goodness, you guys. If you haven't read Gina's books, oh, you just have to, you just have to. They give you so much peace of mind and so much guidance with where you want to go. And the cool thing is, according to Gina Lake, she channels these books from Jesus. And one thing that I was really struck with the first time I read one of her books was that when I have done healings on people, and I, I think I've already told you this, when I've done healings on people, Jesus, the spirit of Jesus has come into the room and taught me, you know, where to put my hands, how long to keep my hands there, um, has given me ideas as far as what the person needs to do to heal further, what they can do for themselves. And when I was reading Gina's book, again, it's called What Jesus Wants You to Know Today about himself, about Christianity, about oh, everything. 
is that he talks in there about looking at illness or disease not as punishment and how many of us think about illness or disease as being punished by God. So many of us do. So many people have asked me over the years, why did God give me this cancer? Why didn't God heal me? Okay. And he put it in such a cool way. And I thought, you know, I've heard him say that kind of thing before. She, he said that our souls, when we are working on our life plan, our souls come up with illnesses or diseases that we want to experience. Yep, we, our souls, choose these things that we go through. And the reason we choose these things is, according to Jesus, he said that we learn so much from being sick. We learn mainly about compassion, okay? But, you know, it's interesting, even when I say that to you, it's like we there's two camps we can go to when we get sick. We can go to the why me, or we can go to the why not me camps, okay? And he said that we learn so much compassion. We learn about the people in our life who's going to help us through these difficult times. We see people rally around us that we never thought would rally around us. Oh my goodness, we learn patience. We learn kindness. We learn about the medical profession. We learn about insurance. We learn about so many things when we are struck with illness or disease. And he says in that book to try to look for, okay, what am I getting out of this? A really good friend of mine who is a doctor, she has, I mean, this woman never took an aspirin in her life she's she's just always been really healthy and suddenly she's smacked down with cancer she healed from that then this other thing that the name is way too long to pronounce but she had to go through hell with that and now they're telling her there might be something else there okay and i watch her go through this and she even has told me how much she has learned and grown through this whole process. So when we do get sick, if we can jump over to the camp that says, well, why not me? Show me the good that can come from this. That helps us to heal faster. Okay, now here at eb.com, I have a program called the Healing Pen Pal Program. It is really, really cool. And uh, I wanna, I'm gonna ask my producer to put a picture up on the screen. I have 72 healers in this program. Look at all these cool people. Yes. And okay, so here's the way it works. If you have something that you need healing for you send me down here bodine.echo at gmail.com you send me in an email your name what's physically or mentally emotionally wrong what city and state you live in and then what we do my coordinator tracy i shoot her the emails and she goes to one of these people on the list and assigns them, assigns them to you. And what they do is they send absentee healing to you every day, twice a day for two weeks, okay? 
It's really cool. And all we ask from people is to let us know after the two weeks if you need more healing. This is a free service. These people all volunteer their time to do this kind of work because we have all, all of us in this program have learned that laying on hands healing works, okay? And really, all we have to do is visualize you, visualize the city and state you're in, what you need healing for, and we send it to you. There's a story in the Bible. Oh, I wish I would have researched this a little bit better before tonight. There's a story in the Bible about a man who comes to Jesus and asks him if he'd please come to his house and heal his son. And I know some of you are going, oh, that's... <laughs> and Jesus said to the man, the conversation, and then he said, go home, your son is healed. Jesus sent him healing energy. And the young man, according to Jesus, was healed. Okay, we have gotten so many testimonials back from people over the years. And I'm talking all over the world of, uh, they were amazed at how much better they felt. They got healed. We've had people request that we send healing to their pets. Yes, that's right. <sighs> people send us pictures. I mean, it's really cool. So if you have a healing need, there is the address down there at the bottom of the screen, bodine.echo at gmail.com. And then I shoot your email over to Tracy and she takes care of it. Okay. Something that I learned, and I hope I finish this in enough time before a commercial, is, okay, this is really cool. When my book, my new, uh, my book, Hands That Heal, first came out, in there it was talking about absentee healing. That's what it's called. And uh, I started getting tons, I mean, letters from all over this globe. And, <laughs> okay, so after a while, I mean, I was overwhelmed. That was before we had the program and I had the other healers and it was me. And I'm just like looking at the stack. It's getting higher and higher. I'm like, oh, my God, how am I ever going to get to all these people? And, um, okay. So what I did was one day I made myself just sit down and read these. And so I started reading the ones at the top. Echo, thank you so much for the healing. I feel much better. My doctor says I'm healed. And I'm thinking, who is this person? I, I don't recall ever sending healing to them. Next letter. Oh, Echo, thank you so much. I'm healed. I can walk again or whatever it was. All right. So all these letters up here at the top were thank you notes. Then when I get to the bottom of the list, here's all these letters from people requesting healing. And I thought, now, wait a minute. The same people that were sending the thank you notes. And I thought, what? How did, what? And what it occurred to me is that when these people, and this was, oh my gosh, you guys, this was before emails. Yeah, so these were all real letters. Okay, when they were writing out their requests for healing, the universe immediately went to work and started answering their prayers or their requests, let's say. Okay, I mean, I can't even tell you that that was such a shock to me. And yet I thought it was like the coolest thing ever that these people had received the healing that they had requested and I didn't even know about it. <laughs> How cool is that? Right? How cool is that? So, okay, it's time to take, ah, tongue is a little funny tonight. It's time to take a break. When we come back, you're going to meet Wes Hamilton, who is a master numerologist. Okay, it's going to be fun. We're going to have some fun tonight. And yes, we'll probably have time for call-ins and hopefully we'll have time for talking about living intuitively. Okay, so we will be right back with Wes Hamilton. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? 
What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern, on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy easysense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach John M. Hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them. We discover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Hi, everybody. Okay. I'm about to introduce you to just... Oh my goodness. I want you all to meet this man. Okay. So let me go back again, like 20, 25 years ago. And I was at an expo up in Fargo, Minnesota, and I was going through, you know, life's, what am I meant to be doing kind of thing. I mean, I was doing this, but I never was really sure if there was more. I was, was I, anyway, I was walking around the expo and I came around the corner and there's this man and his wife, and there's a sign on their booth says, what is your destiny or something like that? Do you want to know your destiny? Something like that. Oh my gosh, you should have seen my intuition. It just like popped out of my chest, I swear, and said, see him now. And so, okay, wow, I was really curious. And I don't think, you know, I really don't think I had had any kind of numerology up until that point. So I went over and I signed up and I had no idea my life was about to change. And it, it turned out to be just such a wonderful session. I mean, I think I spent maybe 15 minutes with this gentleman and he sat down with me, did numerology, told me all about myself and told me why I was here, why I am here this lifetime. And there have been times over the years where I just hit a snag. And I think, what, what, what? My intuition isn't talking. I'm not feeling any guidance when I meditate. And so I will call Wes. And he looks at my chart and tells me exactly what's going on. So without further ado, as they say, here comes my friend, Wes Anderson, who I'm going to ask Wes if he will explain to us tonight, how does numerology work? Hi, Wes. Are you there? Hi. You are? Hi. Hey. 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 Oh, look, we both have blue on tonight. How fun. Look at that. Yeah, yeah well, you... You told me your guide said it's time for me to wear blue, and I used yep. to be wearing yep. pink because you told me pink was the good color. Yep. <laughs> yes. you just follow your lead, Echo, yeah? There you go. There you go. So will you tell people about you, about why you got into numerology? I mean, you were, you were a businessman. You were in the business world forever. And that's how yeah. I knew you was you were a realtor, very successful realtor, and now suddenly you're at 
New Age Expos doing numerology. So, can you tell us all the story of how you got into this? Well, it goes back about 30 years. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I ended up in Sedona, Arizona on a uh, spiritual retreat and ended up talking to a lady there and she was telling me that she's a therapist and she does numerology and so I said well, that, that's interesting she said yeah I, I live in Florida and when uh, I get back home I will uh, send you some information on it if you're interested let me know okay so uh, she sent me a big package of information and it was a lot of numbers and a lot of papers and I uh, just like well, I don't get it. So I put it in a drawer. She didn't hear from me. So she called me in a couple of weeks and said, well, what'd you think of all that, that, that numerology? And she, and I said, well, I don't get it. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was overwhelming. So anyway, she said, well, I'll teach you if you want. So we started a program and I worked diligently for several years following her guidance and, and uh, I finally started to understand it. And even to this day, that was like 25, 30 years ago. And even today, I learned something about numerology. That It's one of those never ending buckets of information. Okay. So, yep. um, yeah, I, I started to uh, do it with my real estate clients. And women, you- women t- yeah, and it, it, women typically are more open to numerology than men, but some yeah. of the guys are like, okay. So they tell me, um, okay, we want to put our house on the market. And there's one, one it was just a single lady. She said, I want to put it on in the spring. I want to, April or May. So I said, okay, let's take a look at your chart. She said, "What? what's that? I said, it's when you're supposed to put your house on the market. So, <laughs> so uh, He's like, no, I told you April or May. <laughs> it's okay. So we looked at her chart and I said, eh, I think September, October is time it's oh. going to be on there. She said, no, 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 no. So long story short, uh, I said, well, there's a few things we got to do before uh, we put it on the market. It looks like the uh, house has served you well, but you got to give it some love. So okay. start painting each room and fixing it up and so forth. Well, it did take her most of the summer. And in that she was feeling so much more grateful for the house and she said i see what you're talking about i needed to love this house because it loved me so we put it on it's 30 days and got a little more than she asked for because it looked so sharp so many times i i would do that and you know our logical mind says no we've got plans yep Uh, yep so uh i like to do that to help people because I have many stories about it. Another uh, lady got referred to me. She's down in Colorado okay. many years ago. And she said, I want to, I want to put my uh, business in the shopping center and I've got the name picked out and I've got the day I want to do it, but I've heard I should talk to you. So okay. I said, okay. Yep. So we looked at her, her chart look good for that time of the year. It looked like uh, the mission statement fit what she wanted to do with a health spa. Okay. But I said, uh, the date doesn't look good. So um, she said, well, what are you thinking? I, I got my attorneys all lined up. We're ready to sign the papers this week. I said, oh, dear. If you oh, dear. Sign the papers, if you sign the papers, it's going to be uh, many, many years before people even know you're there. What? Yeah. And so I, I said, you, you got to wait two months. She like, no. Anyway, oh, she decided to wait two months, opened it up, filled oh, up the did. first six months, booked up okay. and uh, she, very well success. I just heard uh, through the grapevine that she sold it for a lot of money and did very well with it. So okay. numerology knows what's going on because it's measures energy. Okay. And yeah. People, people uh, look at me as like, okay, so the day I was born tells me something. Yep. 
Yep. So the reason I believe it tells us something from my research, everything has energy and a vibration and a color and a sound and so forth. So everything on the planet, even a, even a rock, yeah. <laughs> they don't move fast and I can't hear them when I talk to them. Yeah. Yeah. From what I've read, they have a, they have a voice and yeah. a message. Yeah. So what I, uh, what I think numerology does, in fact, I'm going to say I know what it does because I have done so much research, I can't believe it doesn't. It sets up a vibration. So Pythagoras, our uh, master of numerology and master, uh, he was called the father of math in uh, Greece. He was around 500 BC. And he gave us a lot of our formulas we use today, uh, the Pythagorean theorem. Most of the most of the mathematical things that we use today to build and understand things, he gave us the formulas for it. Okay. And he had a college, a, a school, and it was about science and academia, and it also understand the spiritual world and the metaphysics. So he, he taught people both sides of the story. And they, uh, at their time that they were working on this, they did some research and went back about 5,000 years before he was born. And people at that time would use numbers and letters to help people understand their role in life. Okay. So it's got all, an energy to it. All that far back. Yeah. And I just read an article this morning that says, well, it even goes back 10,000 years. Like, oh my God. Okay. So what they're, they're, they're understanding and science has proven it over and over again, that if you can understand how fast something's moving, like water through a pipe or through a river or electricity going through the air or light going through the air, you can measure it and you'll know how long it's going to take to get there and what it'll do on the way. I mean, it, it's a science okay. and I, I, I love the medical physical world. And like you, you know, I, I've experienced healing. I've taken some healing training. Yep. I know it works. I don't know how it works. Yep. <laughs> it just yep. does. Yep. So that, that's what I look at numerology. It's, it's a scientifically based, program that works and the numbers go one through nine and then they have uh, variations of that they call master numbers and karmic numbers and it's pretty amazing that you can understand what you were here to do when you got here and the name that you saw in my sign up in Fargo was what's your destiny what's your destiny okay yes yep. and so um the purpose of that sign is people want to know yes. who they are. There's more and more talk about that. Yes. And yes. what are they here to do? Yes. Yes. And it's really interesting when I can use their birthday and the name on their birth certificate, according to Pythagoras, the name on the birth certificate is an announcement to the world about who you are and what you're here to do. Oh, interesting. And the day you were day you're born sets up a series of timelines. It sets up a yearly program, a monthly, a daily. It sets up more in-depth programs, uh, seven year, nine year, 13 years, 52 years. It's just, wow. there's so many formulas <laughs> and <laughs> Math was not my favorite subject in school. <laughs> and uh, as long as I don't have to add it up to make it sense, all I have to do is get the numbers so I can hear the numbers tell me what's going on. Yeah. That is uh, my role. And okay. people say, well, what, what's a master numerologist? There's, there's numerologists all over the world. Yeah. I said, well, what I have done is gone beyond what many numerologists do. They're all probably really good or going to be good. Um, I wrote my own program. Oh. 
Okay. And okay. I, I created it in my my brilliant uh, technology person, Lori Lorenz, put it into a software program that I use to uh, help people understand who they are. Okay. And there's two questions that people ask. Okay. Who am I? Who am I? What? What? If I'm being someone, who am I? Mm -hmm. And if I'm being that person, what should I be doing? Mm. So my program mm -hmm. around being and doing depends on the number and where it comes in your chart. This is who you are. This is who you're being now. For instance, a number eight. Uh, if you're born on the 8th or the 26th, uh, you're being a person that likes to be in charge and manage and organize and help things get moving. Okay. Okay. So just out of curiosity, because there was so much on the news today about our Speaker of the House, Kevin, being yes. ousted, I don't yeah. follow politics at all. Like, well, here's somebody in the news. Let's just see what was going on with him this year and this month. And so I looked up on the internet. You can find anybody's day of birth and their birth name on the internet. Okay. Okay. Some people keep it secret, but uh, he's got a very challenging year. And this particular month, he was due for a surprise that was going on behind his back. Oh. And it was, it, it just, I mean, it doesn't always end up that dramatic, but yeah, yeah he, he was a, he was a person that had to learn some lessons about trust and truth. And uh, by okay. golly, from whatever happened in, in his situation today was time for him to uh, stop that. <laughs> so they decided to move him on. But, wow. Okay. We need to take a commercial break. Can you okay. hold on? And we're going to come sure. back. And uh, also tonight, I'd love it if you would talk to us about the energy going on this month in October. Okay. okay. All right, everybody. We're going to take a quick break and we will be right back with more really cool information from Wes. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening, uh, it's like a, a flow inside, yeah, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. We are back with one of my most favorite people on this planet. And Wes is going to talk to us now about October. I would love to hear what he has to say about okay. October. Um, 
there's definitely a different energy in the air this year than I have experienced in past Octobers. So Wes, am I just making this stuff up or is something different this year? Uh, something's major different this year. It hasn't been this of a rocky of a road for a year for nine years. Oh, so anybody yeah. that's good memory, what were you doing nine years ago? So this year, let's start with the year 2023. Okay. In numerology talk, it adds up to a number seven. Okay. And a seven is about get to know yourself, spiritual development, uh, working on trust issues, trusting yourself, trusting people you know. Um, trusting your intuition? Yeah, trusting your intuition? Mm -hmm. Most of all. And uh, for anybody that really wants to look at what the year is about, uh, go to my website, weshamilton.com. I have been using uh, the energy of each month for all year to help people know and navigate what's going on in their life. And okay. so it's a seven year and seven year can be amazing if you're on a spiritual path. Okay. It can be shocking if you're kind of thinking about a spiritual path, but you need more proof. Oh. Or if you just think that this uh, numerology or metaphysics might be something they'll look at later in life. But okay, mm -hmm. seven years is a look in the mirror year. It's learning to explore all the parts of you that is here on earth. It's uh, you sent me an amazing quote the other day that I put on my website about Mark Twain. Uh, oh, two, two most important days in your life the day you were born and the day you found out why it's like yeah. i love them yeah. <laughs> so, <right. laughs> so october is a it's a much more fun month than september okay. september good. good september is a nine month and i'll tell you this one because we're in such a deep spiritual growth this year yeah. september was really hard on a lot of people i I do a lot of spiritual coaching to help people get on their way and leaders helping them understand the bigger picture in life. And several of them said, oh, you, you got to be kidding. This September has been awful. Yeah, so true. many people dying, so many businesses closing, so many partners arguing. It's like, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. September every year is a little bit of a rough road. But this year, because we were do digging deep into our own personal secret spot of who we are and becoming aware of what's in our environment. Okay. It, it, was, it was rough. So October is, is a 10 month and okay. a 10, a 10 month and 11 and 12 are double numbers. And the ones in each one is always about a new direction, a new beginning, a new opportunity. So in my newsletter this month, I titled it Explore New Opportunities. Good. And Good. October, if you're looking for an opportunity, they're right in front of you this, this year because you're on a spiritual path. Okay. And it's okay. really fun because the one is about new beginnings, also about alignment with your heaven, your own physical body and earth. That's what the one represents in a straight line from heaven through you down to earth. Okay. And so we've got the next three months coming up with ones in them. Okay. And the zero in numerology represents God. It's oh. begin, beginning and ending all in the same thing. So it's source energy. So wow. you as whoa, a whoa, person whoa. this month. Okay. Exploring Sorry. new opportunities with God standing side of you yeah. and Jesus got your back. It's like, okay, all the angels and guides are waiting. Are you going to jump in and explore something new or are you going to try to just maintain what is almost falling apart from last month? It's so, uh, it's really oh. interesting. There's been a lot of abandonment feelings in, in September. People were just feeling lost or abandoned and I've been getting emails and texts like, oh my God, what happened? And 
So oh. like you, people need someone to tell them it's going to be okay. Yeah. Yes. And uh, I'll tell you, numerology, it's not always good news, but it gives you a head up, heads up about, well, what is coming and how do I deal with it? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like a pothole in the road or detour ahead. As long as you know it's coming, you mm-hmm. can move around it and maneuver it. So yep. I, I love the energy of numerology and how it works. And October, what I wrote about is see if you can't step into a new pair of shoes. Look at your life from a couple different perspectives. You know, in some of our work, Lori and I talk about what we call the focus for. There's four main areas of our life that they all seem to roll together, but they're definitely in different categories. And one of them is, what's your career about? Where where do you want to go in your career? Okay. And, and, and in September, I wrote about maybe it's time to find a career that you enjoy. Well, if you're on that goal, this particular uh, year and this particular mm-hmm. month would be something that would serve your soul if you can see it from a different perspective. Okay. I like good, that. Good, and a good friend of ours, uh, Ann Pryor, posted an article yesterday, I think, that she was coaching her niece, I believe. And she's a, Ann's a leader on the LinkedIn uh, platform. Yeah. And she listed, I think, 11 things you can do once you start thinking you want to find a new career. So go on LinkedIn and look at Ann Pryor's newsletter. It's very important to uh, at least have some steps because that's what she does, helps people find those steps. Wow. And I just added to your article, it's like, you know, if you know who you are, you will know what to do. <laughs> and so it, it all comes back in my world to numerology because I'm very blessed to understand this at a very deep level. Um, a lady asked me the other day, uh, she said, you've done done a reading for my whole family, my son, husband, wife, daughters, everybody he says, do you have one sheet that I could just compare everything? I said, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> much more complex than that. Yes, 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 so, yes. <laughs> we do want to try to make it simple. So, you know, it is it is a simple process as you long as you know there's many facets to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you're looking for a career, sometimes relationships, but boy, relationships have been rocky road this year. Um, so many people struggling, trying to find solid ground with a relationship yeah. they thought was going on wonderfully. Yeah. And it probably was. But numerology also shows us contracts come to an end energetically. And if you are concerned, is it my contract up? Numerology will give you some signs like you better explore it. It may not be up, but it okay. may be up the way you've been doing it. You, you, know, you might have to spend a little more time in the romance world in your relationship if you're in an intimate okay. relationship. Don't take it for granted. Okay. Um, yeah. Health. Oh, my gosh. So many people in your healing hands group. I hope everybody gets their name in there because... I had no yeah. idea that many people working on it. Yes, um, yes. And like you said earlier today, the God and the spirit and our body all have a way to get our attention. Yes. And if we're not paying attention, yep. our body finally says, hey, I yeah. want some attention, yeah. and here's how I'm going to show you I need it. And That's right. That's right. And it doesn't always have to be devastating, but once you get the signal the body's not happy and you start doing something to correct it. Yeah. You can come out of it most of the time unless you've decided you don't want to, but yeah. I've seen miracles happen when people turn inward and find themselves and ask for help like you provide. It's just amazing. Yeah. I and, agree. Uh, another part of uh what's going on this year because it's a 7 year. What are your spiritual beliefs? Ah, uh, yes. Am I just going to church because I'm supposed to? Is exactly. going to church fulfilling me? I mean, yep. Lori and I go for walks every morning. We walk right by a great big church and the parking lot's filled up on Saturday with one group and Sunday another group. And they're very dedicated. For them, it's community. And that 
maybe is all the church needs to be for you right now. Yeah, it could but, be. Yeah. Um, Mm-hmm. So this has been a, a real deep dive into um, your personal self this year. And October says you got three more months. Think of it as a runway of where you're going next year, because next year it's all about learning how to manifest, developing your confidence, getting a clear picture, uh, read books on manifesting, take classes, do it, do what you need, because we got a great year coming up. 2024. Oh, really? Good. Finally. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice to hear. I know. I love those parts. <laughs> no. no, it's been a while since somebody said that to us. Yeah. Well, I, you know, Maria Shaw, I read her article, I think it was yesterday. Yeah. She said on the eighth of this month, Yep. yep. things are going to lighten up. So Mm -hmm. numerology and astrology are telling us let go of the pain and the suffering get back on the horse and start riding again because it's going to be okay oh that just sounds so nice um yes i contacted maria after i read her article yesterday and said would you please come on next week uh and talk about this october 8th thing because i mean it sounds very positive and then she emailed me back and said sure so for everybody. Maria will be here next week. But she said that this, these three planets, uh, this is going to last for six years. So that's a really good thing. Um, okay, my producer is saying time for a commercial break. So okay. wow, we are cruising and we've got maybe 12 minutes left of the show. Can you hang out with us until the end of the show? Sure, love to. Perfect. Okay, folks, we're going to take a commercial break and we will be right back. Radio show host and coach John M. Hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse. Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them. We discover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern, on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy easysense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation welcome back everybody to enough is enough i'm your host echo bodine and my guest tonight is someone that i absolutely adore master numerologist wes Hamilton. So since we've only got about 12 minutes left of the show, I asked Wes if he would tell, tell all of you, like what he can do for you. That's the bottom line of what I want you to know is how Wes can help you in your life. So can you do that for us? Sure. Thank you. Okay. Um, Yes, I offer numerology readings, and a reading is uh, looking at your chart. And some people just want a little snapshot reading of their destiny. So I'm uh, 
going to offer that on my website as a shorter reading, okay. probably 20, 30 minutes. Okay. And in that, I, I look at the entire chart, who they are, what, what they're here to do, what month they're in, what's their challenge, what's holding them up from getting what they want. It's a pretty thorough report. And that is a, uh, a good starter. You can come to the Oropalooza, which is a lot more fun to sit there and enjoy all those people and all that energy and all those stones and all those popcorn bags. Yeah. Jeez. People calling in already. <laughs> <laughs> calling already. Yeah, that's right. Oh, my God. That's so crazy. at the Oropalooza, I, I do a quick 20-minute reading. And I look at their chart. Yeah. And I, I not only talk to them about their chart, if they've got a recording device probably on their phone, they can record it yeah. so okay. they can listen to it again. And then I also email them about seven, eight page report of what I have discovered in their chart. So they got something they can keep looking at. So that's at the Oropalooza. Yes. And that will be my snapshot destiny uh, report that I'll have on my website that you can connect with me, either phone or Zoom. A lot of people like Zoom now and kind of fun to meet each. These people are from around the world yep. that uh, somehow they find me. Yes. Uh, and, and then I have a really big in-depth with a numerology report. Uh, many of the people prefer that one. Okay. And it, it's a one hour long uh, reading and I create a book about 50 pages filled with all kinds of information about who they are, mm -hmm. what they're here to accomplish, why they're here to accomplish it. Then it's got timelines in it. And I usually go out about 12 months to give people a, a good idea of what to expect in the next 12 months. Okay. And it's pretty darn accurate. They come back every year. <laughs> if I get to see them in person here, they'll bring their book and it's filled with notes. What happened? What what was their experience with it? And it's usually got coffee stains or wine stains or pizza stains on it because they do it when they're when they're uh, relaxed and, and uh, reflecting on themselves. So that's been an exceptional uh, tool that I've designed. And I use a couple different uh, numerology programs. I use the one I created okay. to give them a snapshot of who they are. Okay. And then I use a professional one that uh, gives a more in-depth month by month, almost day by day uh, report that uh, you can kind of look ahead and do your planning with your meetings if you're in business or travel with your travel plans with your family. Uh, yeah. It's uncannily accurate. Um, <laughs> so that one seems to be the favorite of most people. Okay. And then I do what I call spiritual life leadership coaching. Okay. And that involves several different things that I ask the universe to send me people that are in a strong leadership position in the world. Okay. When they can find out more about who they are and what they're here to do, they will use that information to influence others in their environment. Okay, makes sense. Yep. And okay. I have been very blessed with people from around the country, okay. sometimes from around the world, um, okay. actually sign up and, and look forward to, we, we talk every week. Sometimes they're traveling, so we skip a week. But we talk every week about what's going on and, and uh, what will be your challenges and it's fascinating and they, they look forward to every week because I can break it down day by day with okay. the deeper programs I've got. Okay. So that's been a, a great help for people. And it's so much fun to watch someone step out of that stress that typical leadership can bring. Yes, yes. yes. Give people a way to relax using yeah. numerology and and I also teach them how to meditate and they start healing from the inside out. Good, good, good. And it's Excellent. so much fun to watch a person find themselves and then 
express who they are. Instead of competition, they move into creativity. And it's so much fun that way. So that so has fun. been some of the greatest feelings I've had. I, I, I was a real estate broker for 43 years. <laughs> And uh -huh. so I tell people I started when I was 10. Okay. Yes, that's right. Yes. <laughs> but my chart said, you know, I was very lucky, lucky to be very successful in that. I loved buying and selling homes for people and businesses. But my chart said in 2019, you're done with that. I thought, really? Oh. You're done with it. Oh. Okay. That can be pretty scary. Yes. Oh, oh so yes. I Pull the plug, <laughs> shut it down. Yeah. Offered more of my numerology and coaching, and, yeah. and it, it's been a, such a blessing. And speaking of that, in 2019, I purposely shut it down in October of 2019 because I started in October 43 years before. Oh, interesting. And I went back in my life and I have changed career directions, I think eight different times. Oh, landscaping, wow. uh, interior design work, uh, remodeling work, insurance okay. sales. Okay. Um, I, I just done a lot of things. So, <laughs> but coincidentally, and before I knew anything about numerology, yeah, all of them started in October throughout my life. Wow. And I thought, oh, wow, what a yeah. coincidence. I know. And now we're so, in October again. We're in October again, and right. I'm exploring, well, what else do I want to do? And where else do I want to go? And how do I want to do it? So yes. October is a great month to get on the runway to get your plane into the air. Boy, that sounds so good. Sounds so good. So one thing that you had talked to me about about a month ago that I thought was such a cool idea was working with kids that have come out of high school, going into college, not even sure why they're going to college. They just know they have to go to college or they think they have to. And have you started doing that? I have done it on and off over the last half a dozen years. Okay. And my wife, Lori Palm, and I created a program called the Core Passion Assessment. Okay. And what that does is it measures your why you want to do what you want to do. Okay. And okay. it's a validated assessment that we use in the corporate world to train teams and leaders. Okay. And it's very important to know why. You would think you would know why because you know somebody that did it and they make a lot of money or you know somebody that did that because they got to travel or there's so many reasons we try to be like somebody else, but it's so valuable to know why you want to because we're all so unique yes we are so we yeah. use we use that assessment along with a program that we're redesigning since covid that people are going to be able to just click on that program of uh we call it the career seeker okay and it's not quite rebuilt yet but it's coming soon <laughs> and okay. With that, I tie in numerology and the core passion. And then they, when they take it, they get to pick from a bunch of different career options. Good. And if it fits their numerology and if it fits why they want to do it from their inner self, they get a green light. It actually is a green light. And if it's something that shows up as a yellow light, it's, then there's a report in there that says, well, some of this might work for you, but you better go back and think about this. Okay. And if they get a red light after they yeah. fill out everything, they get a red light. It's like, yeah. I think you better drop that and try something else. <laughs> Got it. But it's so it. helpful. It's, you know, all we need is tools to understand who we are and why we want yeah. to do what we do so That's that we right. can start being who we are. It's just an amazing, amazing gift. And, you know, I, I, th I think once we get this rebooted again, uh, we've had a couple of uh, career companies that, you know, look for careers for people mm -hmm. um, interested in it. So okay, we'll see good. where that goes. Good. But, uh, good, good, good. It's I'm sorry kids. I have to 
I have to cut you off, my friend. I'm sorry. We have okay. maybe 10 seconds left. So first of all, I want to thank you for coming here tonight and explaining numerology. And I want to remind all of you about the Healing Pen Pal program, bodine.echo at gmail.com. Next week, we're going to have Maria Shaw, uh, Astrologer to the Stars, and uh, we'll find out some more really cool information. So have a great week, and I will see you all next Tuesday night. You've been watching Enough is Enough with host Echo Bodine. It's time to bring negative beliefs out of the darkness and into the light where they belong. Come and join Echo each week, Tuesdays, 9 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave TV Network for a positive look at God's gifts.